It began when Esvaldo Benya picked up a library book about to be discarded. The old book contained poetry written by Palestinian and Jewish children. Inspired, he decided to set some of their poems to music. The songs became the CD titled Still a Dream, which raises money for children in Palestine and Israel. Osvaldo recently released a second CD, Beyond the Gate, which also benefits children in his native Argentina. We welcome Osvaldo Benya, who is also a professor at Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary in Evanston. Welcome. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about this book, My Shalom, My <clears throat> Peace. It was about to be discarded and mm -hmm, you picked it up. Mm -hmm. What inspired you about this book? Well, um, the subject matter, the title, My Shalom, My Peace, and the artwork. So I picked it up, paid 50 cents, and started to read it. I uh, had been to the Holy Land, uh, or I don't remember well if I had been or I was about to go. I think I had been. Um, so the book uh, brought um, um, all these memories. And when I went to Israel, I put together the faces and the real people. Uh, the poetry is, is haunting. It's all about the need for peace and understanding and a different kind of future. And uh, the fact that it was written by kids uh, in 1974, uh, it was uh, so important for me to see that the need is still there, mm -hmm. that their uh, desire for peace is still there, That. Uh, Peace in the region has not been accomplished, or any part of the world. So uh, that was uh, the, uh, the thing that drew me to the book. And some of the children that wrote these poems are as young as nine years old. Yeah, six. So nowadays, uh, they are adults. And I don't know where they are. Tell so. us about some of the, um, the lyrics that you've written mm. from these poems, and mm -hmm. what they mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. about what these mm -hmm. children were going through, or yeah. are, are still going through in this yeah. country. Yeah. Yeah, the lyrics are um, terrific, um, simple. Um, things, they are asking for things that we take for granted. As for example, to be able to sleep soundly at night. Uh, to be able to uh, go to school without being afraid of uh, being attacked. Uh, to live in a country without um, alerts, without uh, sirens and the threat of bombing and stuff like that. Um, that together with the uh, poetry from the kids from Argentina that are asking for a life without drug addiction and a future, all of that is encompassed in this idea of shalom, which is a Hebrew concept not only for the absence of peace, but for well-being and safety in a bright future and even a peaceful death. All of those things encompassing the word shalom are present um, not necessarily obviously um, the way I just described it, but symbolically in the poetry, in the poems. Tell us a little bit about how, um, what you're doing with the CDs that yeah. you've made. You've also made a second CD. Yes. Tell us a little bit about where the money goes yeah, from yes. some of the CDs that you're selling. And you're also performing concerts right. as well from these yeah. two books. Yeah. I thought that these uh, poems were Terrific, and as I said, for two years, I prayed the poems until I realized, gee, there's something missing here, and I think it's music. And I've been a musician um, since I was, I don't know, 20, writing songs. Uh, I'm not a trained musician. I don't write my music. I just, I'm a composer. And I had done that before, a lot of poetry, and especially with biblical poetry. So I saw this as an equal to biblical poetry and I decided I want to put some music to this and I did and the first day that I picked the guitar and I opened the book the first song came in one sitting so I said there's something going on here there is a connection between the poetry between the kids situation between my own experience and my music and how I feel about kids and children in the world so I decided to set this to music and after seven years I had the first CD out, and I said, well, what, what do I do with it? Well, let's benefit the kids who wrote this. So I said, I'm going to sell the CDs and send the proceeds to a school. And through the United Methodist Church, I found a, 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 a school in, the, uh, in Bejala, in the West Bank. Uh, it's called Hope Secondary School. It was founded by the Mennonites, and I started sending my money there. 
And then when the second CD came about in 2010, and the poetry of that CD comes also from children in Argentina who live in a shanty town, ridden by drug and prostitution, and they talk about that reality, I decided to send part of the money to this other school. It's a daycare school. It's called Little Dreams, Sueñitos. And they work with the mothers of the kids in the shanty town. As they go to work, they take care of the kids. And it is, I, I was there, it's just a depressing reality. So how, those are the two schools. And how did that develop, um, connecting the second CD to your home country and getting some poems and lyrics from the children there? Right, I had some connections in Argentina, some members of my own family that were working there. And I said to them, why don't you collect some of the poems uh, Ask the kids to write about their reality. Send me the poems, and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first one. So they did. They sent me like five or six poems, and out of those, I have made like four songs. And I arranged them, and, and then the three of them are part of the second CD. And so now it's like they see themselves represented, uh, musically at least, in that second CD, and the money is now shared between. Uh, the Palestinian Israeli school and the Argentinian Argentine school. Well, would you mind sharing a little bit of your music it's with no us problem. and a little bit of the song you're about to perform? Um, where we're going to do something out of the book, my Yeah, shalom? yeah, yeah. Okay. It's smart, I think it's. The yeah. poem is called Sing the Songs of Peace, and just the words are s simple yeah. but <coughs> tell so much. You want to read them? Well, the first um, line is Peace is a quiet land. Peace is a flowering strand. Peace is a happy mother. Peace is a land without borders. Peace is a boy who's not a soldier. Peace isn't just a dream. Yeah, and the rhythm for this specific song is an Argentine rhythm called milonga. Peace is a quiet land. Is a flower in strife. Peace is a happy mother. Is a land with a border. Peace is a boy who's not a soldier. Just a dream. So sing, sing the songs of peace, and they'll come to us and never see no longer just a dream, no longer just a dream. Peace will come us and never see. Peace will come to us and never see. Thank you so much. And what do those words mean to you and what you think these children are going through? They're going through a lot. <clears throat> What these words mean to me personally is that, like, um, I'm an adult, adult, an adult, and I am being challenged and called to accountability by the children of the world saying, what have you done to our world? What kind of a world are you leaving us? Do something about it, and we can do something about it. And the little that I can do, I found that I can do through music, through um, challenging ourselves to become much more involved in peacemaking, and through um, raising the consciousness of what's going on, not only in Israel and Palestine, but in other areas of the world, and see what we can do so children don't have to write this poetry one day. Osvaldo, <clears throat> thank you so much for connecting us through your sure. music to these children in Israel and Palestine and, and Argentina, and getting a, we can get a sense of what they're going through through yeah. your music. It's thank wonderful. You. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm Anne-Marie Gerhardt for Different Drummers and the Greater Chicago Broadcast Ministries. Keep the faith. <laughs>